Today I'm going to show you how to get the Forsaken Ashes tattoo set. So first of all, I just want to say thank you guys again. We are currently at 902 subscribers uh, when I'm recording this. When I uploaded my last video like a week ago, we were at 662, I believe, which was already insane. So 250 people have subscribed since I last uploaded, which is insane. And I just want to say thank you guys. So thank you. Now onto the actual video. So first of all, this is part of an old set, so I'm gonna give you kind of a brief history lesson on where it came from. So when Sea of Thieves launched back in 2018, they announced three major updates, Hungry Deep, Cursed Sails, and Forsaken Shores. In the Forsaken Shores update, they added the Devil's Roar and the Forsaken Ashes set. Now, the Forsaken Ashes set was kind of split into three categories of obtaining. The time-limited items, which were the figurehead, hull, sails, and weapons. So those are now unobtainable, but the rest of the set is still in the game. Not many people have it, and not many people even know it exists or that it's still obtainable. So the other two categories, one of them contains all the clothing, all the equipment, and the scars, which I made a guide on how to get those already. I will leave a link to that in the description. This is kind of a part two to that because the tattoos are acquired a different way. So one thing that's kind of interesting about the tattoos and the scars for this set is they just appear. There's no notification you ever got them. So most people have no idea how they got it. So anyway, in this video, I'll be going over how to get the tattoos. If you want to know how to get the scars or the rest of the gear, I will leave a link to my video on that in the description. Oh, and quickly, you can do the stuff in this video and the stuff in the other video at the same time. You can kind of multitask. So I recommend you watch both of them before heading out. Now to get the tattoos, you will need technically 20 commendations. They're all very straightforward. They're all location based. So it's go here and interact with a thing. So the first 15 are just visit every single original Devil's Roar Island. Visit meaning you need to set foot on the actual island going near the island will not count. So this is just every island in the Devil's Roar except Brian's Bazaar, Roaring Traders, and Molten Sands Fortress. Now, if you don't know which ones you've actually visited, you can go into your commendations. So in reputation, build rats and then in forsaken shores the entire first page here is the discover island commendations so the crew that discovered the devil's roar was called the forsaken shores alliance and basically there were seven members two of which are still alive the other five died in the roar during that initial expedition now what you need to do is figure out what happened to all of them so you need to find all of their remains each of these are a commendation they're on the second page here it's all these ones with the skulls the uncover the fate of remember. Ideally you want to start at Galleon's Grave as that will require the least amount of backtracking. Otherwise you'll have to start in the middle of the roar and then go north and then go south or go south and then north. It's just annoying. So first, the fate of Fetcher Farley. To find them you will need to go to Fetcher's Rest. Most of the islands are named after the character who died there. And head to the west side on the top of this cliff here. When you're going up here on your left you'll find the remains. Just click the inspect option, click close, and you'll get the commendation. Next is the remains of Flintlock Burt. To find them, you will need to go to Flintlock Peninsula. Once you get there, go to the north edge of the island. It's just straight north of the volcano. Walk along the coast, and behind some of these boulders, you'll find Flintlock Burt. So next, you can either go find Hepzibah Jones or Ruby Carter based on whichever volcano is erupting at the moment, or you can just go to whichever one you want first. We'll start with Hepzibah Jones. So head southwest to Forsaken Brink. This is the smallest island with remains. And in this rowboat shelter, you'll find Hepzibah. Now, once you've gotten Hepzibah, or once you've gotten Burt, depending on which volcano is erupting, head to Ruby's Fall. It'll either be east or southeast. And beneath this big bridge in the center of the island, you'll find Ruby Carter's remains. Now, last, we need to find Old Coop's remains. Head to the Devil's Thirst. And once you get there, just walk around the coast beside the volcano until you find a way up to this high area. Head up there, and on your right, you should find Old Coop's remains. Now, once you have all 20 of those commendations, the tattoos should show up pretty much instantly. If you don't get them within 72 hours, open a Sea of Thieves support ticket. That will be the second link in the description. Uh, I believe that is pretty much it. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. I will try to answer them as soon as possible, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.